Marilyn Monroe, Larry Bird, Justin Bieber. What do all these people have in common? They all have blonde hair and they're super famous and successful. Well now, you can add me to that list. Minus the fame and successful part, I I'm just blonde. But unfortunately, I'm getting my hair re-dyed tomorrow. But today, while I still have my blonde hair, I want to pay tribute to blondes across all of the world. And what better way to do that than to make a video on the Barbie soundtrack? So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I do want to take the time to mention that I did start a Patreon recently. For only $3 a month, you can have access to extended cuts to my regular YouTube videos and occasional bonus reactions. And the link to that will be in the description. I'll have the extended cut to this video available on Patreon before this one even goes up. So yeah, man, uh, welcome to the Barbie video. Leave a like. If there's one thing that I love more than movies, it's movies with original soundtracks. Black Panther, the Spider-Verse movies, uh, The Greatest Showman, La La Land, bangers, all bangers. What did you guys think of the movie, man? I thought it was pretty good. I gave it like a four out of five stars on Letterboxd. You know, obviously I'm not like the target demographic. You know, it, you could tell it's a very like feminism type movie. And despite what my music taste would tell you, I, I'm a dude. But even for me, there was definitely like a bunch of little nuggets here and there that I, I thought, you know, resonated with me for sure. I thought it was just really well made. Anyways. We're hopping in to Barbie the album. 17 songs and only 44 minutes and 15 seconds of music. Featuring Lizzo, uh, Nicki Minaj is there, my girl Black Annie, who else was there? Dua Lipa, she's there. Today's snack of choice, dried mangoes. Ooh, little bongos. I'm really enjoying these instrument choices, bro. We got like a bongo sounding thing. I think there's like some trumpets, bro. Barbie. Go Barbie, go Barbie. Pretty, pretty, I, intelligent, and never sad. <laughs> bro, come on. <laughs> hey man, pretty good. I'm not really familiar with Lizzo as an artist. I think she has a pretty nice voice. She sounded pretty good. Wasn't she in like drama? recently and look it up just how bad is the lizzo situation experts break down the singer's harassment lawsuit uh i guess i should stop talking about that then I'm sorry to hear you ever bored and you have access to a computer just type in any random celebrity and then controversy in google and see what articles pop up it's honestly a good a good time killer for me to be honest i'd be doing that with like fucking anyone but yeah i thought the song was okay the role it played in the movie pretty fun <laughs> That bass line is really fire, bro. Bass line, I like the drums. I honestly like Dua Lipa's voice. That was fun. It actually kind of makes me more curious about Dua Lipa's music in general. Oh my god, 76 million monthly listeners. Jeez. Maybe I wrote her off too quickly. Like, I really just thought that she was like a basic pop, you know, artist. Like, you know the videos of her, you know, kind of just standing like this on stage? You know? Give me a recommendation of what album to do. She has like two or three, right? Anyways, yeah, that song was fun. Oh, baby. Regardless of how you feel about Nicki Minaj or Pusha Pusha Hair, Ice Spice, that is the collab of the century, bro. Come on. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Okay, Nicki. Ah! Still wanna party. Pink Ben, I'm ready to bend. I'm a tent, so I'm pulling a Ken. Hey, bro, the sample of the original Barbie song goes so hard, bro. Oh, why is it so short, bro? Oh, it's a banger. Damn, bro. Why is it so short? Okay, I'm busting out the lyrics, bro. In the pink Ferrari, we peeling out. I told Tay, bring the Bob Dylan out. It's Barbie, bitch, if you still in doubt. Better known as Arrogant Tay is Nikki's hairstylist and wig guru. Oh, like a bob cut. Oh, shit. That's a bar! Chorus, obviously. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Nikki, Gra. References to various Barbie characters. Wow, look at that, bro. These deep cut references. All right, let's get into this Ice Spice verse right quick. Barbie ain't nothing to play about. He wanna play in the playhouse. Um, maybe that's an analogy for vagina. Oh, maybe not. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I'm washing these bitches. I'm rubbing the stain out. Ooh. Ooh, upholstery cleaner, oxy clean, get the tough stains out, bitch. She a Barbie bitch with her Barbie click. I keep dragging her so she a bald, what? So she bald a bit? <laughs> Drag her by the hair so she's bald now? And I see the bread, I want all of it. And I want the green, so I all of it. Bruh! All of the green in Olive Garden is known for its breadsticks. Bro, a 
triple entendre? I didn't even know those existed. Bread is another term for money and it's green. Olives are green and Olive Garden is known for its breadsticks. Brody, that's a bar. I'm sorry, Nikki. That verse was easily better. I can't believe that I spent what the past like five minutes you know, breaking down the lyrics to Barbie World with Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice. And I spent like 45 seconds per song in last week's video on Lana Del Rey, who was like famously known for her lyrics. Hey man, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. This song's a banger. What do you want from me? It's better than everything I'm born to do. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. God. In all honesty though, I do plan on making another Lana Del Rey video next. And I will dive deeper into the lyrics. I got, I know that was a big criticism and I agree. Anyways, only three tracks in. Number four by Charlie XCX. Ooh. It's a little minimal, but it's fun. You kind of just like coast and ride along. You feel it. I like it. Wow. For only two minutes? That's a good song. The production was super like simple, you know, it's pretty much just the drum and that dun, 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 and, like a little bass, but that was fun. I like it. Sometimes people will mix fast with like loud. I like that it was chill, but still fast paced. <laughs> Thrift shop vibes. Oh, I like the drums. Oh, what does ma pao mean? Ma pa bajo. I'm reading these lyrics. I don't know what any of it means. I take French. Vamos, let, let's go to the disco. Yeah, I know that. Mucho humo aguardiente. A guard, I don't know. Uh, ooh, bars? I wish I knew what you were saying, bro. It sounds fire. Yeah, that was fun. Let's pull up the English translations, shall we? When I see you going to the floor, mommy, immediately my heart starts to freak out. When she starts to shake that bam, 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 and I come, come, come. That just doesn't sound right, bro. <laughs> I feel like this applies to like all songs in other languages. Something always gets lost in translation, you know? But what I do appreciate is I'm pretty sure there's also a K-pop group um, that has a song on this album. So I like, you know, the whole theme of like the Barbie movie was that anyone can be Barbie, right? So to have, you know, a song that's only in Spanish or a song that I'm assuming will be somewhat in Korean, it's just representing Man I Am by Sam Smith. <laughs> Whoa. Bro, where is this daddy voice coming from, bro? I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I know it's like you're not really supposed to be taking it seriously, but like, whenever they put in those Ken and Barbie references, it's just, it's just funny, man. Baby, there's no woman that could possibly stop me. That was fun. I like that one. Oh, that harmony. Whoa. Oh, that was beautiful, bro. That was actually beautiful. I like that it feels kind of like you are literally going to like another dimension, you know, very like switching ear to ear. I'm not very familiar with Tame Impala. Um, the only song I know of is the one that goes down, 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 down. That one's a banger. I like that one a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the simp anthem. Seem to turn it up, turn it up. Ooh, okay. Clearly his vocals have been very manufactured, but he sounds great, dude. I don't care. Life of blonde fragility. I'm just can't. Oh, this is a bar. Where I see love, she sees a friend. Ah! Oh. Whoa! Bro! I was not expecting that. What the heck? Dude, I literally had the thought. The production was kind of lacking first chorus, but no. That's crazy. Oh! Oh shit! Am I a dream? Oh, oh! Oh, dude, I can't believe. Yo! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! 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 ah. Listen! Ah! I'm just can't. Oh! Bring it back! I'm just can't. Where I see love, she sees a friend. Oh, the guitar! Ooh! Doing stuff, bro. Facts. Oh my god, bro. It's a banger. Okay, first off, Ryan Gosling sounded fantastic. I don't care. In the beginning, it sounded a little bit auto tune, a little bit manufactured, but when you bring in the production, bro, oh my god, he was he, perfect. I love La La Land. His singing was kind of Middington in it. Here, he stepped his game up, bro. I respect it. Second of all, changing the production like three times. Listening to the song on its own, that is an adventure, bro. It literally felt like a journey. Oh my God, that song was amazing. I'm not even, bro, 
My brother was literally telling me this song is mid earlier today. I was like, I'm doing a video on the Barbie album. He was like, bro, the Ken song is mid. Shut up, Justy. You don't know what you're talking about. This song is a bank. Can you feel the Kennedy? Feels so real. I feel my fucking Kennedy right now, bro. I'm about to go Super Saiyan. Moving on to Dominic Fike has a song here called Hey Blondie. Whoa. Oh, that kid is so different. Hey Blondie, there's a million the vibe of this one's so good. Oh, the background vocals. Ah, fire. Ooh. Oh, I like it. Oh, I really like it. It's chill. It's, oh, that little farting clap sound, bro. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that is not the bridge I was expecting. That was... Oh. Oh, bro, those are the chords that lead into the Billie Eilish song. That was fun, dude. I like that one. I should check him out, bro. Should I listen to his new album? You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, this next song is track number 10 by Haim, Ham, Hoim. Someone tell me how to pronounce that, bro. Oh. Oh, the bass. I love that, bro. You have that high, like, organ sound with the bass line and the kick. I'm not a big fan of her voice it feels too something about like her delivery feels very stagnant oh they put it all under this low pass oh what the oh that drum bro take me home take me home i hold it inside my heart just take me home i really like the song i really liked some of the things the production did sometimes it felt a little bit like flat and just kind of like lacking a bit more oomph but at the same time it does kind of match the vibe of the song oh fuck! i'm not even gonna pretend like i don't know this song this song is already on like four of my playlists all right i've been on a Billie eilish kick recently oh the piano I used to know, but oh her voice is like <laughs> Oh, <laughs> bro, her voice is so good. Oh, she's so talented. She's so talented. She's amazing. I'm not real. Just something you paid for. Prostitution, bro. Oh, the chorus. A Billie Eilish ballad is like peak music, bro. Her voice is so perfect for like that softer. When she sings it out, it hurts in the gut, but still like breathy and like, oh, dude. My mic is still picking up. Yeah, because I did slam it on my forehead a few times. Think I forgot how to be happy. Something I'm not, but something I can be. Something I wait for. <sighs> Brother, I have not heard anything so relatable in my fucking life. Who wrote this song, bro? Whoever wrote this song, you have my fucking heart. Phineas and Billy wrote this song? Oh my god, she's so peak. She's so peak. It just like turns this whole soundtrack on its back. All of these songs are embracing the goofiness of the movie, you know? With all the Barbie, Ken, fun Barbie world references. Oh, he wants to play in my dream house. This song just encapsulates what that movie is about. What I took away from that movie personally is, you know, everyone can feel this sense of like, what am I supposed to do with my life? Especially now, you know? I personally am entering my 20s in like my birthday's next week, a week from today. I, I kind of feel like, you know, I'm becoming an adult, but I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing in life, you know? This idea of, you know, not being real, something you paid for. You know, I don't want to dive into like my personal trauma or anything, but like shit, bro. Representing one thing to people and letting that kind of conflict with how you view yourself. I feel like a lot of people tend to rely on others when it comes to you know, interpreting who you are as a person. You know, it's all about how you treat others. If people like you, then you're good. If people don't like you, you're bad. You know, it, it becomes this genuine struggle of who am I to myself? You know, I feel like that's what this song is. That shit fucking hit like a fucking ton of bricks. The Kid Leroy, this is gonna be some fucking need you to stay, need you to stay, stay. Shit, bro, right after what I was made for, back to back, what are you trying to, bro? Like, I'm gonna fucking vibe, but like, damn. Oh, okay, it's a little different. A little acoustic guitar moment, I like it. All the nights I couldn't find my way home. Wow, they really contrast the like simple trap beat 
with this very like resonant, you know, vocal echo sound. Short. But it was nice. Um, the Kid Leroy is kind of interesting to me because I feel like he puts auto-tune on his voice and it fits the songs that he makes, so I like it. But I can tell that he's actually has like a really good voice and I kind of just want to hear him without the auto-tune just, like, just to know what he sounds like. But that was a good song. I liked it. I, I think it meshes that trap sound with like a more echoey, you know, wah, wah type vibe. And it works. It works pretty well. Fuck, bro. Like, I'm trying to like think of like what to say about this Kid Leroy song, but I'm just still thinking about what was I, what I was made for, bro. Fuck. Bro. It sounds like talk, bro. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're go- Come on, bro. Oof, vocals. I love a good R&B moment. Khalid is a great artist. It doesn't match the movie's vibe, or I guess even the overall album's feel as much. So because of that, I don't know if it would crack my top five, but as a song, on its own, I think it's it's fun. I like the give you the world on a silver platter. It's cute, you know? Angel by Pink Panthers. Isn't that the guy, I mean, isn't that the person that did the Ice Spice song? Oh, that boy's a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like an open acoustic guitar. I like it. Oh, what the heck? Don't like that sound. <laughs> Bro, she really busted out the fiddle? Are you kidding me? I don't like that sound. Stop bringing it back. There we go. Oh, I really like that. I really like that ending, bro. Bringing back the vocals is like a more like whooshy vocal choppy sound. Yeah, that song was fun. I actually liked it. I didn't like the boom boom sound. That was kind of ass. Other than that, though, the just the vibe of like having like that, you know, the really light drums, like the snares and then the acoustic guitar and her vocals really fit that vibe. I think she sounded really good. Pink Panthers. I don't, I'm not really familiar. I know she does. That boy's a liar. That boy's a liar. Ooh. Guitar. Interesting. Wow. Oh my god, bro. I was not expecting that. Ah, I like the pop punk feel. Makes sure like the, uh, the prolonged. That's fire, bro. Mental health is a serious thing, Gail, okay? No jokes. Oh, oh, halftime. Oh, I love a good halftime shift. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Damn, bro. I kind of wish that they did that and then had it lead to like one more like punchy pop punk moment, but it's fine. I like the misdirection at the beginning. Obviously, that was really cool. It's fine. It's a good song. Moving on. Ooh, Ooh harmonies. Oh, I love harmonies, bro. I love some good harmonies. Whoa. Ooh, okay. This kind of feels like a 2012 beat, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, 85. I like it. Your fighter. Oh. That was a banger, bro. Say what you want. Say it sounds corny. Tell me you weren't just transported back to fucking 2012, 2008. That mix with like the 80s. You know, Street Fighter like sound effect thing, the buzzy thingies. Pretty fire. Pretty cool. I messed with the song. It's a good song. We have made it to our last song. That is so sad. This has been such a wild ride. So many fun songs. Each one really felt so different than the other. Oh yeah, this is K-pop, bro. Come on, come on. This is a twice type beat, bro. I fuck with it. Ooh. In the Barbie dreams. Ooh. I can have it. Damn! You guys know what I'm gonna say, bro. You guys know what I'm gonna say. With the rap verse, into the slow down pre chorus, into the na di da di da, na di da di. Bro! It's a banger. It's a banger! If you don't like K pop, like vibes at least, like I understand not liking to listen to it because you don't understand what they're saying. But if you can't get behind that, like fun, upbeat shit, come on, bro. It's so fun. Wow. That is tough. I think in general, this soundtrack is so good, has so much variety. Honestly, no complaints other than like here and there having one part of a song that I feel like, like eh, production wise. If, if we're talking about movie soundtracks, not not like, you know, like for musicals, but like an original movie soundtrack with modern artists, uh, it's a 10. 
It's a 10, bro. I have no complaints. If we're talking about album as a whole that I will revisit, I'd probably give it like an um, 8. Mm, move it down to like a 7.5. Just because I gave Born to Die an 8, and that feels disrespectful to Lana. But I thought it was great, man. I think all these songs are really good. And fuck, bro. Billie Eilish. Fuck. It's so sad. <sighs> all right, let's see. Let's build my top five right now. One is obviously what was I made for. Number two, hate to be basic. I'm gonna go, I'm just Ken. Ryan Gosling coming in with the clutch vocals, bro. Fire. I want to say three is probably Barbie world just because it's just like greatness and more greatness. It's like a greatness sandwich, you know? So that's three, four. I think I'll go Hey Blondie just because I like the chill vibe. Choose your fighter at five. And then honorable mentions go to Angel, Butterflies, and honestly the fucking, the rest of the songs on the album. They're, they're all great. Other than that, I mean, there's not really any conclusions that I would draw from listening to this. It's just a soundtrack, you know? There's no like vision. Let me know what your favorite song on the soundtrack is. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments. And yeah, like this video a like really does go a long way and subscribe if you're new um i'm gonna try and post another video this week we'll see if i'm able to get it out by then but that is the plan right now so i'll see you guys friday stop playing with all this and i'm better like a barbie i'm a dog but i still want to party things that like are even bent i'm the pencil i'm pulling in ken like jazzy stacy nikki all of the barbies is pretty all the barbies is bad girls and we ain't playing tag